rear differential. Like, are you replacing all those parts? Am I paying for parts that are still good that you're... Can a mechanic determine whether or not you need an entire differential without even opening it up? Yes. Yes, they can. Please forgive me. Anytime I do a stitch, for some reason, the audio and video do not sync up. Anyways, back to the subject. A mechanic can tell if you're... If the differential is just completely locked up, it's one of those like a duh moments where like, you know, you need to get some real work done. If the differential sounds like it's imploded on itself, then that's another a duh moment and you kind of need to get work done. However, in this case, it doesn't really appear like that's what's happening. What most likely happened is they cracked open the drain port, caught the differential fluid, and saw a lot of shiny debris inside. Now there's always going to be a little wear and tear, but if you've been in the industry long enough, you know when too much is too much. As for your question, do you really need to pay for a whole differential? Do you really need to have all new parts? A technician who knows how to do differential work are going to be able to look at a piece, check for tolerances, check for wear patterns, and are able to determine whether or not a part is good. Or bad. Truth be told, there's a number of problems that can arise based off of this line of thought. To put it in layman's terms, what you are suggesting is we cannibalize the old differential and salvage the old parts that are still usable with new parts. A lot of shops will not do this because they don't know how long those used parts are still going to be good. And by doing it that way, it's going to be very labor intensive, which ultimately you're going to be the one footing the bill. I hate throwaway culture just as much as anybody else, but in this case, it's going to be cheaper for you in the long run to just simply buy all new parts. Why run that risk when the cost is going to be the same or more? I gotta say, I am in your corner though, maybe that shop is kind of shorting you a little bit. To me, if it's a little iffy, you know, like, you sh they should have taken off the cover and have gotten you at least some numbers on tolerances and backlash. If you feel like the shop is sketchy and they're just aiming for the quick buck, you do have the option to take it in to another shop for a second opinion. Anyways, best of luck to you, and I hope this cleared up at least some of your questions.